The GT1 Mega is made for gamers, creators, or people who just want to stay productive. It's so small, minimal, and to be honest, I've been using this for almost two weeks now, and let me give you my thoughts on this. Now, at the back of this device, you get two USB Type-C, two USB Type-A, two HDMI cables, and also a Ethernet port. In the front, you get two USB Type-A, a headphone jack, and the on and off button. Now, in the side, you get the SD slot that allows you to import files from your camera to your computer directly without going through many hubs and other connections. So yeah, I've been using this for over a while now, and I'm not gonna lie, this has been my everyday companion. I've been using the Geekom A8 before, and the only thing that happened with that was I was trying to create my new desk setup, and mistakenly, something happened where the whole motherboard shut down, and that was basically my fault, nobody else. And I feel like the Geekom A8 was powerful enough to help me create most of my YouTube videos, and I was really enjoying it. But thanks to Geekom for sending over the GT1 Mega as I really needed that. So if you're somebody who really likes multitask a lot, the Ultra 9 185 processor with the 14 gen chip also a 16 core, it's gonna help you with so many things. Now this form factor is definitely an everyday device because it helps me with my productivity when I'm creating videos, thumbnails, playing games. And the fun fact is that I can actually use it anywhere in my apartment. Sometimes when I want to stream football, movies, or play games on my TV, I can just easily connect it and you know enjoy the moment. And this doesn't mean it has to be a home device, it can also be a business device like for small business, hotel, front desk business, and even retail stores. So I feel like having something like this is super portable, manageable, and it has everything you really need. Now, I used to have the Geekom A8 as this used to serve as my everyday device, but I don't know if you can see over there. Yeah. All right, so here's the Geekom A8, the old version and you can see the motherboard over here. The CPU is literally integrated, so there's nothing you can actually do. Right here is where you see the burn space, and when I was moving the desk, the cable became loose, which generates low power, and that literally just burnt the hole. And this is the place that connects to the power. All right, so under the hood, you do get a Intel Core Ultra 9 185 processor, you also get a Intel Arc graphics that supports ray tracing. Now, this will support ray tracing in terms of reflection, light, and all that. But since this is just a support and not like actually ray tracing, it's going to do its best with all that. So just keep in mind that this supports and it's not like the actual stuff. You also get a dual channel DDR5 up to 64 gigabyte of RAM and also a SSD storage up to two terabytes. And that is really good. I'm not gonna lie, that is super good. It also comes with a pre-installed Windows Pro. So whenever you purchase this device, all you have to do is just install and you're good. Nice. Now playing games on this is super fun. Check this out. As you can see, the PC really handled the game super nice, and I even tried playing two games at once, which, in my surprise, it handled them the same time. So, Dead Island is a game that runs on Unreal Engine 5, and the PC really handles it like a champ. All right, so I had 136 tabs open right now. So, 136 tabs, we are going to try and play a game. All right, so I have two games going on and also 136 tabs. And that is because I am actually playing two games that uses Unreal Engine 5 to render its game. And to be honest, like the lag is not that bad at all. It's not that bad at all. Now you can actually see a little bit of a lag. Let's go over to the next game and see how this thing... So this one is actually not bad at all. So yes, I don't expect everybody to have a PC like this, but I feel like if you're looking for something really small, minimal, and something that would just be discreet under your desk or anywhere you want to put that, then you have the GT1 Mega. Now you can also see the difference in size. This used to be my previous device, but after the issue, 
I just have to go for this one. And I feel like it handles everything, like from videos, editing, creating thumbnails, you know, doing any productive tasks, all those things that you really need as a everyday user, I feel like the GT1 can handle everything. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.